Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It's your boy Tommy Gamma here, back with another video. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day. And I uh, just wanted to make another quick video because some crazy things are happening, obviously, in the NHL. So, we have a trade, and this is, a, uh, I guess you could say, a blockbuster trade, which is obviously very important. All right, so the Jets have finally done it. After all the rumors, after all the time, Patrick Line is leaving Winnipeg. All right, so the trade, I think this is how you pronounce this, and I'm sorry if I don't pronounce this right. It is Pierre Luc Dubis. I think that's his name. It's not American. I'm American, but. <laughs> All right, so the Jets have acquired forward Pierre Luc Dubis and a third round pick in the 2022 NHL draft in exchange for forwards Patrick Line and Jake Rosal Jake Roslevic. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce those names right. But uh, so obviously, both these guys can ball. There's no doubt about it. Line and. Um, Pierre Luck Dubis. <laughs> I think that's his last name. But uh, so this is a weird one because obviously it's a shame. Both these guys are still so young. And obviously I think both these guys are going to luck out. I think if you got to look at it as a positive way, if you're Winnipeg or Columbus, you both just got good players. I think it was one of those things where it was sad to say when these guys got drafted, they didn't like where they were. And it happens. It's part of being a professional athlete. And uh, they got what they wanted. So they're both out of the cities that they sadly did not like. And things didn't go the way they thought they would. So try to look at the positive. Both these teams got very good players. Um, I know the Flyers in Columbus were around Patrick Line Rumors for like all summer. It was a very long time. But it, it, it's for me, it's hard because I lost a lot of respect for Pierre Luc Dubis because I don't know if you guys saw the shift that he had. I think it was two nights ago at this point, and his shift, the shift that he had, uh, they posted a video on it. It was terrible. I, I think all seriousness, he wasn't skating. He obviously didn't want to be there, and it's just like, why even play, dude? You know, you're just letting your teammates down, and you're letting your coach down. You're not paid millions of dollars to do that, so that was kind of embarrassing. Uh, no matter what happens behind closed doors, you don't do that. That was simply just embarrassing. But he's still a good player. I think he's, at this point, I think he's 22. He's still so young. Yeah, so Dubas is 22. He had 65 goals and 93 assists in 234 games and over three seasons, which is very good. Uh, that's That's no stupid numbers that's very elite numbers in only 234 games um he was the columbus leading goal scorer last season with 18 goals 31 assists over 70 games um so obviously patrick line right now he's injured that 22 year old he had 140 goals 110 assists in four seasons uh Rosevec, he's another good player let's not forget about him he was a first round pick in 2015 12 goals and 17 assists in over 71 games a year ago so this one's just tricky because obviously Dubis and Line are, yes, they're good, but I, the attitudes is kind of what I'm worried about. And I'm a Flyers fan. I really wanted Patrick Line, but at the same time, what is going on behind closed doors to where these guys are not? I I, I don't because I don't want to make assumptions because it's not who I am, but it's just weird. But obviously the the Pierre Dubis dude, I'm not happy with him. I just thought it was really disrespectful to go out and do the shift like he had it you don't do that to your teammates if you played hockey you know you don't do that no matter what's going on behind closed doors you don't do that um you, you try to resolve it before the game starts you don't go out and put your team in that position especially when the rest of the team is trying to win um but like i said I, good for both these teams i don't really have anything to say um like I said, I think Dubis is looking for a change scenario after three seasons in Columbus. He just signed a two-year deal with a $10 million contract. So, obviously, he's getting average $5 million a year, if if that's right. But um, it, 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 this one's iffy, but I think if you're a Winnipeg or a Columbus fan watching this, you have to look at it as you both got good players. Um, so, maybe these guys just needed a change. I don't want to give my opinions or, you know, sound like, a, you know, an, an ass, but it's just – just stuff happens, man, as a professional athlete. Sometimes you get drafted to a city and things are not the way you want it to be. So it happens, but uh, I just want to do my review on that, guys. I think good for both these teams. I don't want to say who won, who lost, because I think both these players got good teams. So, uh, guys, I'll check you guys out later. Have a great day. I just wanted to get my thoughts on that. And, uh, guys, continue to uh, stay safe in this crazy-ass world. <laughs> Peace.